Now let's see the identification or diagnosis of kidney stones in your kidneys. The diagnosis is done through some test. The first test is imaging test. In this test, an X-ray, CT scan and ultrasound will help your healthcare provider see the size, shape, location and the number of your kidney stones. These tests help your provider decide what treatment you need. The second one is the blood test. A blood test will reveal how well your kidneys are functioning Check for infection and look for biochemical problems that may lead to kidney stones. Now comes the urine test. This test also looks for signs and infection and examines the levels of substances that form kidney stones. Kidney stones can be of various sizes. Those that are 3 mm and smaller have about 85% chance of passing on their own. Stones which are of 4 mm have about a 50% chance and stones of 5 mm and above have about 30 to 40% chance of a person passing it successfully. Stones that are larger than 10 mm require a surgical treatment to remove it from the kidney. Now let's see the management and treatment of kidney stones. Some medications may be prescribed to decrease the pain. Over-the-counter medication like ibuprofen or you are in the emergency room with an IV narcotic. Manages nausea and vomiting. Relax your ureter so that the stones pass. Commonly prescribed medicines include Tamsulosin and Nifedipin. If you need a surgery, there are four types of surgeries used to treat the kidney stones. The first one is open stone surgery, shock wave lithotripsy, percutaneous nephrolithotomy and ureteroscopy. Thank you for sparing your precious time with my video. Don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all my new video notifications. Allah Hafiz